<laughs> We're being chased by <laughs> friendly cows. <laughs> Goodbye cows, I'm going. <laughs> Abdominal surgery in cattle is uh, fairly common. Most of the times we are called to correct uh, issues with the um, fourth stomach, the abomasum, that displaces either to the right or to the left. There are various techniques to correct it. Um, there are um, uh, conservative techniques just with medication, so support the, the patient with pain relief and also uh, support the patient with fluid replacement. They tend to get dehydrated, they also tend to get ketotic during those times and um, with ketosis it's like the uh, diabetes that affects humans but it's more of a transient form, a form that will occur for a couple of days if it gets treated and they recover from it very quickly. So um, the, that's the conservative approach. There's also many, many, many very good surgical techniques. So the question is, why should we prefer endoscopy over other techniques where we have to open the cow up, like laparotomy, whether that's from the right, whether it's laparotomy to the left, um, or it's um, or might be right and left at the same time or it might be um, in the, with a the cow upside down the technique that we call the paramedian um, so the benefits of endoscopy um, are numerous first of all we uh, carry out two very small incisions to start off with and may finish off with two very small incisions as well um, the size of those incisions are anything between one and one and a half centimeter. The surgical techniques um, with one or possibly two surgeons, uh, endoscopy is minimally intrusive um, and the amount of intrusion to the animal is, is tiny, very small instruments are, are, are inserted into the animal. It's fairly quick, so from arrival, diagnosis and carrying out the operation, it's on average 45 minutes for a case of a left displacement of abomasum for a left twist of the gut, whereas um, laparotomy will take longer than that. Um, the big, big, big advantage with uh, laparoscopy uh, or endoscopy as we call it, is we don't need to give antibiotics uh, post-operatively unless the patient is showing signs of infection, unless the patient has elevated temperature and so on and so forth. That's an unthinkable um, uh, consideration if we open the cow up laparotomically with um, um, an incision to put a hand or an arm in. Um, it, in this day and age when we're talking about reducing antibiotic use and having responsible antibiotic use, that comes as a massive, massive advantage. Other benefits of endoscopy are things like the um, post-operative, following the operation, the cows that were corrected um, endoscopically produce more milk, uh, 2.8 litres per day, up to um, at least 42 to 60 days following the operation compared with animals that were opened up like laparotomically and that's um, a big consideration because of the extra amount of milk that shows if if we're not that worried about the extra amount of milk what that shows is the fact that the animal is less stressed during the operation and has the ability to recover quicker and return to normal yields to normal behaviors much quicker than uh, any other operation. To give you an example, most of the human abdominal um, operations in the tummy um, uh, are done laparoscopically with two, four, six or more portals, tiny little incisions. 
And nowadays we can perform very complicated operations, very serious operations uh, in, with that procedure. Whereas the days of opening someone up and two, one or two surgeons inserting their arms and hands inside and moving the gut and, and all that are a thing of the past. With cattle, obviously, um, we still commonly still use a very good technique, but it is an old fashioned approach. We use the laparotomy um, incising, putting hands in, as clean as we are, the gut is very sensitive, the abomasum is very sensitive organ to the touch and to being moved about. We pay a penalty for that, whether we like it or not, and that penalty is reflected in the speed of recovery from um, uh, the operation to coming back to normal yields. And very often it's tiny little things. We might see 10%, the yields might be good, but they might be 10% down. Um, what if another technique gave us a drop of 5% to the expectation, all things equal? Um, why shouldn't we consider it? Coupled with the fact that the yeah. need for antibiotics is tiny, yeah. um, it's well worth considering. The overall approach to correct an LDA can be split in four um, uh, big stages um, and, and that is, starts with the preparation of the patient and the immobilization of the patient. Uh, then we proceed in setting up the optical portal. Um, furthermore, we set up the working one or more portals and uh, then we finish off with the abomasopexy it's a fancy word for fixing the abomasum in, uh, in a place that it's unlikely to displace again. In a nutshell, that is the procedure. I think as veterinary surgeons, we're very, very good at what we do. We spend a long time developing reasons why we do things in a specific way. And it's quite easy for anyone to come up and say, oh, I think you should be doing it this way. If it's going to help us improve our results, I think we should consider it. It's, uh, it's not about criticizing anyone and it's not about um, implying that a certain technique is not good enough. All techniques are good. It's about improving our results uh, and from excellent going beyond excellent and from good going to excellent and so on and so forth. So, thank you for listening. Talk to you soon. Ta-da!